welcome Billy Eichner. Thank you. So and good to be back. Congratulations on the movie. And, Thank uh, you. It's can a I tell big you deal for me, yes. First of all, it's very funny. And, and you know, it's a comedy, and that's why you're watching it. But I mm -hmm. found myself becoming interested in, um, in gay dating, basically. Oh. Like, now, I don't mean... Try being like, gay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be really interested in it. Because it's, it seems like... It's well. It seems like fun, first of all. Um, Sometimes, you know, yes. yeah, right. I know, but you know, like I would imagine that for yeah. a long period, it's super fun. Yeah. And then maybe it's less fun as it goes on. Yeah. Well, that's what's fun about the movie. You know, we've been having these test screenings of the movie. It's the first gay rom com ever made by a major studio. Yeah. Yes. Which is crazy, right? Which is, which is insane because we've literally, we've literally had two movies about a talking hedgehog before we had one movie about gay guys. Um, but our time has come, finally. But uh, 50 movies about dinosaurs, prehistoric extinct creatures, but not one about a gay couple. Um, but, you know, we're happy to be here. But we've been having these test screenings all over the country and mostly straight audiences. And they find it very interesting and exciting because yeah. it's a culture that they don't know everything about. You think you know, but you don't really know. No, I didn't know. Right, because two... Well, I'll teach you, Jimmy. Yeah, oh, well, sure, I mean, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, two men together, it's a very particular, unique thing, and it's funny, and it's awkward, and sometimes it's like a straight relationship, and sometimes it's not. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there are all sorts of little, like, kind of rules and things you know and the yeah. things that, you know, you don't know. But, yeah. This I, is it, bros. It's an educational tool. Yes. Among uh, many other things. <laughs> yeah. Paleontology going on. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yes. And so this is something you've been working on for quite some time, right? Yeah, I'm so proud of it. I teamed up with Judd Apatow, who produced it, mm -hmm. and he made... Bridesmaids and 40-Year-Old Virgin and Knocked Up and Nick Stoller, who directed Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Neighbors. So they've made all these classic comedies, but they've never made one about a gay couple. So it was a great partnership because they taught me how to make a great comedy and I taught them what it's like to be a gay person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and um, the whole cast of the movie, everyone in it is an openly LGBTQ actor. Really, everyone? Yeah. Every single person, even wow. in the straight roles, which very rarely happens. Wow, you know? that's interesting. Yeah, it is. And, you know, I hear some people, you know, like some people saying, well, I don't know if I believe a gay man pretending to be straight, but I'm telling you, if there are any Republican women out there, <laughs> so many of your husbands are pretending to be straight right now. Speaking of Republican and, yes. and Democrats, you were a part of the White House Correspondents Dinner a couple months ago. I, I was, yes. Uh, was that fun for you? It was fun, but it became way more surreal than I expected because we made a funny video for it. They asked me to make a little video for it. But then President Biden came out and gave a speech. And he came out? <laughs> yes, Biden is my love interest in bros. And the sex scenes are so hot. Um, a yeah. lot of inflation, Jimmy. <laughs> so, um, I'm, no, I'm the most, like, liberal gay person. So everyone calm down. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, President Biden gave me a shout-out in he his did. speech that I... He did. video of it, It's in insane. Fact. Let's take a look. Billy, where are you again? Do you, where is he? Well, Billy, you're famous for interviewing. You're interviewing skills. Billy, you should know. What you're doing, pal, you know it, you know it well. And you should, I think, you should hope meets the press. Maybe they start to watch it again. Boy, he really knows how to deliver a joke, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not since the Smothers Brothers, Jimmy. <laughs> but, um... It's one of those jokes that at the end you go, oh, that was a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But it was an honor, and it was bizarre, and it was very... Who were you with at the table? Well, of course, naturally, I was sitting next to Brooke Shields and her daughter. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, it was, the White House Correspondents Center is a very unique thing. Yeah, it's yeah, strange, um, right? But I'm hoping we can screen bros at the White House in well, September when well, it opens. Would you really? Is that something you really want to do, huh? Yeah, I want to screen, like, a raunchy, R-rated gay rom-com at the White House. Yeah, that I would be I think that fun. would be fun. I agree. Yeah.
Um, you, have you ever been in like a spelling bee or anything like that in school? A natural segue from raunchy gay rom-com. <laughs> Um, <laughs> spell raunchy gay rom-com. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I, I was not in a spelling bee, but I did participate in my fourth grade storytelling contest. Oh, yes. a storytelling contest. That's right. And sometimes people say, when did your parents know you were gay? And I'm like, I didn't have to tell them, because when you volunteer to participate in the storytelling contest, <laughs> in fourth grade, it's very clear. Well, yes. Did you make up, did you write the story and then tell No, them? no, you have to like recite an existing story. So I think mine was called The Nightingale. Um, and I did very well. I won my school contest, I won the district, then I went to the borough contest, because I grew up in Queens in New York. Uh -huh. um, and I lost the borough contest. And to this day, I remember the two girls I lost to. Really? Yes. Rachel Altman came in first. Uh -huh. And the runner-up was Jenny Pethkonkathong. And I'm not kidding. This person exists, and she's going to hear this. Jenny Pethkonkathong? Jenny Pethkonkathong. Rachel Altman was terrific. Jenny Pethkonkathong flubbed a couple of words. And my mother, we ran out. My mother was so angry. She, she, oh, she was, really? My oh. mother was convinced that the, it was rigged. Oh, really? Right? And she accused, this is real, she accused Jenny Pethkonkathon's mother of mouthing the words to Jenny Pethkonkathon <laughs> during the contest. But look at me now, Jenny <laughs> Pethkonkathon. <laughs> I swear. Was, she's going to see this, Jenny Petkonkathon. I'm going to ask Mike Tyson to pronounce Petkonkathon. <laughs> By the way, me and Mike Tyson, when's that gay rom-com happening? <laughs> That's my next movie. And by the way, I should say, Bros opens in September, but the trailer just came out today. It's online. You can check it out. Oh, it's on the computer. It's on the computer. <laughs> Billy Eichner, everybody. Bros opens in September. We'll be back with Mike Tyson. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.